right, hello and welcome to our information session on our guaranteed admissions program. My name is Liz Johnson and I am the Associate Dean of our Career and Technical Programs here on the CRED campus, which oversees nursing. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about this um, new guaranteed admissions program in nursing and how you can use this to your advantage when you are working on your prerequisites. So that then when you are ready to apply into the nursing program, you will be guaranteed a spot. So what we're going to do today is we're going to walk through several of uh, what the guaranteed admissions will be, um, the criteria, the classes, and then some maybe common questions you may have. With that, at the end of the meeting, you'll be more than happy to um, ask me questions, um, or if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me directly at CNCC. So let's go ahead and get started. So why are we doing a guaranteed admissions? In terms of guaranteed admissions, most nursing programs are competitive in that you do your grades, you get your prerequisites, and then what happens is you submit your application and it all depends on who you're applying to, right? It depends on who you're applying against and it all depends on how many people are applying. So even if you've had stellar grades, you've done everything right, you still may not be given a spot in a nursing program because you take the highest, uh, the highest marks. That means that many students, that maybe students like you are right now, are thinking, you know, I've had to take a year off from school and then your life gets disrupted. So this is an opportunity that if you come be a part of our guaranteed admissions program, you are able to plan your life. Right? You're going to take your, get, your prerequisites, then you're going to go straight into the nursing program without having to take an off year, without having this uncertainty factor. Also, we have the rigor component. Is At CNCC, we have fantastic faculty, and these faculty are really, really good in terms of being able to get the rigor, whether it is in anatomy and physiology, or clinical calculations, or whatever course that it is, our faculty are able to make sure that you have the skills necessary that when you're in the nursing program, you will excel. So it's through our, um, our college, our program. So as a result, you will be successful because we will give you those foundations early. And then lastly, many times when we are dealing with um, competitive entry, we have many students coming in from outside of Craig or outside of Western Colorado. And that means that they have no intention necessarily staying and filling the uh, vacancies within our regional hospitals. As a result, that means that we have vacancies in our regional hospitals. So this also is allowing us to fill some of those vacancies with local students. Local students who go through this program, you guys are here. And as a result, you will be able to help and actually get employed locally. You don't have to move and our community benefits as well. So the courses, let's get down to what the guaranteed admission is going to look like. So we have kind of two sets of courses here. All of these courses you will have to complete as a part of the guaranteed admissions program. We have the classic five courses. We have anatomy and physiology one and two, microbiology, English, and then human growth and development. Those are the same five courses we use for competitive entry right now. What we're going to be adding, and this is what you would be doing in addition to, this is the guaranteed admissions, is you will be completing nutrition, medical terminology, clinical calculations, pathophysiology, and a general education elective before entering the nursing program. The reason for this is that all of these additional courses are going to give you even more background. Your instructors are going to be preparing you for classes in the nursing program, whether it is going to be from terminology or like clinical calculations. You will have all this information before you enter. Year one, you will be in an ideal situation to be successful that first semester and won't be nearly as overwhelming as it can be. All right? Now, these courses are for the guaranteed admissions and they are going to be applying to your Associate of Applied Science degree in nursing. So these aren't just excess courses that don't apply to anything. You, th these are going to be a part of your degree at the end of your nursing program. So you're looking at, um, let me see here, 15 and 18 credits. So you're looking at a good um, 33 credits in terms of 
what these courses are. Of course, most of them, you can kind of see they're all medical based. Um, and we kind of all offer them at our CNCC campuses. You are able to choose your schedule because we know that sometimes take, be, taking time off work, becoming a full-time student is incredibly difficult. And so we have the option of a two-year part-time pathway. You can take part-time classes. We have a recommended rollout um, for your two years, but you can choose to do your prereqs all in one year. You know, some classes are only taught in fall semester. Some classes are only taught in spring semester. All right, and so this allows you the flexibility to choose what matches with your schedule. Now, this can, um, guaranteed admissions can occur on any of our CNCC campuses. It could be, it's mainly provided for our Craig campus where our nursing program is located, but Rangeley campus as well offers all of these same classes and you can enroll in the guaranteed admissions on Rangeley as well. If you're a concurrent student and there are classes you are taking at your high school being taught as a CNCC course, these also apply for you. So you can start even as a high school. Now the requirements, and this is the piece that we wanna make sure you, you are prepared. You guys are gonna be entering into the nursing program and that you're, you're ready for that, all right? And so this is kind of the part where you need to hold up your end of the bargain. Right? First of all, you wanna submit a letter of intent by August 1st, indicating which year you intend to enter. Remember, we have that one-year pathway, we have that two-year pathway. Um, so you would be putting fall of 23, all right? Or you'd be putting fall of 24, right? So that's the year you plan to enter the nursing program. We also request that you have demonstrated college readiness. Now we do not have an SAT or an ACT cutoff score, but what that means is that if you need to take English composition or math for clinical calculations, and you are below college readiness, we highly recommend that you do that developmental, that prep college work before you declare for the nursing program. So that gives you the best opportunity for success. You also going to need to maintain that 3.0 GPA in those five main courses. You, that doesn't mean you have to have a B in all of the courses, but over the course of those five courses, anatomy, microbiology, English, that needs to be a 3.0. All of our courses need to be completed by the end of spring semester prior to entering the nursing program. That's because we have to assign a number of slots. And so we don't allow some work up until that through, through the, Garrett, the entry into the nursing program. Now, this is the kicker. And this is what you want to be, make sure you have is that if there's any D, F, withdraw, or drop, that will remove you from the guaranteed admission. All right? So if you have any of those on your transcript, that is going to remove you. And you can always apply for competitive admission, but you are not going to be able to repeat courses for higher scores. The competitive entry is going to be still available if that's something you have to do. That is going to tell us that when you sign up for a course, you mean what you're going to do, and this emulates the nursing program. When you're in the nursing program, you're not able just to drop or withdraw from a single course. You're, you are in it to complete it. You want to foster those skills right now. All of our courses need to be taken in person at CNCC or with a CNCC instructor in a hybrid or a virtual format. No transfer courses or online courses are going to be accepted. Again, that's the rigor component. We are confident in our instructors and they are going to prepare you, whether or not just from the content, but they will prepare you for flipped classrooms. They will prepare you for clinical teaching styles. Those are things that are completely integrated into our teaching styles um, that you won't get any place else. All right, um, TEAS test. TEAS test is the entry test that we use. Um, for all of nursing students. So you will be taking the TEAS test and when you get a proficient or better. Um, you'll be taking this probably when you get done with the guaranteed admissions, probably in the spring semester prior to entry. All right, and so that is something that's required of anyone. And we wanna make sure that you are also in that same requirement as well. 
Lastly, good academic standing. Many people don't necessarily know what this means, but this means you are going to want to make sure that you are not going to be cheating. You're not going to be plagiarizing, right? Because anything that is on your record is going to dismiss you from the guaranteed admissions. You can still apply for the competitive entry, but we want to make sure that you, you're a good student. You're an honest student, and we all know you are, but we want to make sure you're not tempted by anything. So this is one little piece that we want to make sure you're aware of. The timeline to completion is the guaranteed admission program happens before you enter the nursing program. So SEPs, right? You just complete your letter of intent. Then you take your prerequisite courses in that one or two year format, whatever works best for you. You enter the nursing program and then you complete your two year nursing program. So finally, then you graduate. You're looking combined, whether it's a three year process or a four year process, depending on the situation, but you can guarantee that there will be no hiatus. You don't have to take a year off or two years off as you're waiting to get into that nursing program. And so you can plan your life you can plan um, when you're going to get that nursing job, when you are going to start making that amazing money, those financial benefits, going into the hospitals and those are or clinics, right? There's so many different places that you can use your degree in. Um, it's not just only like OR or um, ER, but it's you know things that you can use to get into this high paying, very lucrative job that really gives back to the community, which is fantastic. All right. Now we currently have CNCC students who are working towards their degree. Downside is this program didn't exist last year. And we want to, as a courtesy to our CNCC students, to let you know that you are, if you are currently taking CNCC courses, those prerequisite courses, a retroactive status will be granted to you as long as you follow, you, you follow, you meet the minimum criteria but this would be for fall 23 entry date, all right? That fall 23 would be that two-year pathway. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna schedule an advising appointment with your advisor. If you're a current student, you already have an advisor. Um, that may be me, because I also do the pre-nursing. So come see me, Maya Gargetto on the Craig campus and Katie um, Hunter, Nelson Hunter on the Rangeley campus, but Todd Ward. Um, Dr. Charlie Ward on the Rancher campus as well can also advise you. Check your courses and your transcript. You need to make sure they're all CNCC, not CCC online, not any other college. Do that, double check. Make sure you meet the GPA requirements, the academic honesty. Make sure you are meeting that you haven't withdrawn or failed a course, all right? If you meet all of those criteria and your advisor says, yeah, apply, go ahead and submit that letter of intent that is on our website. Choose the two-year pathway and indicate fall of 23 as your entry into the, the guaranteed admissions program. Um, then you'll get a letter of acceptance. Uh, and same goes for anybody who's been accepted in the general, general, the guaranteed admissions program. Then for the next academic year, you're gonna finish your guaranteed admissions courses, take your TS tests, and then you will enter the nursing program. If you have any questions about this, because this is a little bit more convoluted than the process would be if you would be starting off fresh, please feel free to talk to your advisor. And that way you can really, we can really go do a one-on-one -on -one sit down with you to understand your individual and unique circumstances. Lots of what ifs have occurred in the past, right? What if I'm removed from the guaranteed admissions pathway? Well, guess what? You're not completely removed from nursing school. You can still apply as the competitive entry process, right? For a variety of reasons. Could be GPA, could be a withdrawal, could be academic honesty. What if you had to stop the pathway? What if you had, you know, something you had to you started, then you stopped? Unfortunately, you can't restart it. We are guaranteeing spots, we're holding your spot. As a result, we take you at your word. And when you have a spot, that means we need to replenish that spot if you don't intend to take it, all right? And so what we're gonna be looking at, please finish what you start, the same thing that we do in the nursing program. If you can't take a school course in the scheduled rollout, 
Well, guess what? We every rollout can change. You can take some courses in spring and some are not summer, spring and fall, but you want to, you can tailor this to your personal um, or unique circumstances. Um, as long as you do it in the one year, as you've indicated, or the two year um, rollout, as indicated on your letter of intent. What if you have, um, are a concurrent student, a high school student? Yes, you can still apply, all right? Your high school campuses are CNCC campuses, and you probably would want to schedule an advising appointment um, with your high school counselor in addition to a CNCC advisor to make sure that you are set up on the right path. If you are looking to get a BSN, you can incorporate the Guaranteed Admissions Program into a two-year Associate of Science program. That Associate of Science program will set you up towards your BSN, your Bachelor's of Nursing, um, with many additional classes required depending on what school you get your four-year at. So consult the web page at our um, programs, our nursing guaranteed admissions, and the college that you intend to get your BSN, and we can advise you from there. All right, what if you are a CNCC student, but you haven't taken any of those courses I rounded off earlier? Yes, you can still apply. You have to submit that letter of intent, and then you can, then you can start, right? but you can't repeat courses, and all the courses have to be done in a year or two year rollout. So if you did it, say English one already, and that was five years ago, you can't apply. If you took any courses at another institution, the answer is no, we can't guarantee that rigor. Right? And if you're unsure where to start or what to do, please give us a call um, and one-on-one -on -one help. we get you to an advisor or to our uh, nursing coordinator, Aubrey Wilkie, and we'll be able to answer questions you may have. Next steps. Now that you've watched this video, all right, determine if you are 100% on board with the Guaranteed Admissions Program, and you are ready to go. You submit your letter of intent as soon as possible, meaning you will be entering the nursing program in fall of 23 or fall of 24, because you, you know what you're doing. You will receive an acceptance letter and your spot will be held. We have 22 spots available which will be held each year for guaranteed admissions students. All right. Um, if we have 23 students, right, we put one student on the wait list. All right. And that way, you know, trying to get if a student um, withdraws from our guaranteed admission program, that we can get them in for that entry date. What happens next is you need to register for courses as soon as possible because each course has a limited number of spots. For example, um, English may have limited off offerings and limited seats available. Anatomy in the same way. All these other different courses you are wanting to make sure you get registered. Registering early guarantees what you need to do. So if you have questions what you need to register for, you can um, register via Navigate and get, or schedule an advising appointment via Navigate if you're a current student. If you are a future CNCC student who's never applied with us before, never taken a class with us before, please schedule an advising appointment at advising at cncc.edu. And then you can begin planning your nursing career for and looking forward to that, that process of continuing marching through to the end of your degree. So with that, we are, this is the end of our presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Elizabeth Johnson or Liz Johnson, uh, our Associate Dean of our Career and Tech Programs. Um, I have my email address is elizabeth.johnson at cncc.edu. Um, or you can call our main line, which is 824-1101. Uh, but you also, all this information is also available at cncc.edu nursing dash guaranteed admission. Right? So you are able to find all this information. We are going to be posting this to our webpage and that way that this information is available for you at any time. So with that, we thank you for your time. Thank you for your interest in the guaranteed admissions. And we look forward to helping you on your nursing journey.